Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your next 48 hour love messages where we're going to take a look and see what messages you need to hear when it comes to the person that you're dealing with in love or connecting to at this time. Please like, share, subscribe if this reading is resonating with you of course, don't try to force this reading. Feel free to reverse the roles if you feel like I'm speaking more to your energy here today. And this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Scorpios out there. Scorpio, we're just going to go in and give the Animal Spirit deck a little bit of a shuffle before we jump on in and take a look at the overarching energy of this person over the next couple of days. And then we are going to use the tarot cards to unpack uh, the messages here. Okay. So Spirit, what is the overarching energy? What is the strongest energy when it comes to the person that Scorpio is connecting to in love or relationship over the next 48 hours? Okay, so we've got the elephant coming in. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at the card. The upward pointing triangle here represents the element of fire. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you may be connecting to one of these signs, Scorpio, but otherwise this person could be uh, coming through over the next couple of days, um, really displaying these strong characteristic types of these archetypes, okay? But I'm getting, um, I'm getting with the elephant here that this person is very passionate, okay? There's very, pa you've lit a fire, um, in this person's belly okay this person you've lit a fire in their belly you've lit a fire in their heart so I do get a sense here that this person is very much attracted to you um, I feel like they have been battered and bruised in their past is what I want to say but I feel uh I feel like through those experiences it's made this person um, wiser or uh, it's made them more mature is what I want to say because with the elephant I get a very strong mature energy coming through that's what I get so even if you might be tuning into this reading thinking oh this person is very immature but I feel like they're coming through over the next couple of days quite mature okay maybe they've grown up um, but I'm getting a sense here when it comes to you uh, their main intent or their main focus here with you is to show like a maturity, to show that they are stepping up, to show you that they're taking accountability or responsibility in some way. So I'm going to leave that there. We are going to unpack this message further using the Lightseer's Tarot. If you are new here, Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you found me. And I really do hope that this message um, lands for you today and helps you out in some way. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of the support, Scorpio. Um, it really does mean the world that you are tuning in here today. So let's have a look and see what Spirit wants you to know. When it comes to this person that you are connecting to, Spirit, tell us more about the energy of this person that Scorpio is connecting to over the next 48 hours. Okay, yeah. I'm not surprised that the Three of Swords is here because it is telling me that this person is, they're upset with themselves, okay? They're upset. Um, maybe they've hurt you or let you down or disappointed you here. But I get with the elephant that this person wants to move forward now. They kind of want to move past this Three of Swords energy. It also does tell me that this person comes from... Um, a background or a past where they have been hurt or betrayed and it's made them who they are today okay it's made that they've come out the other side much more mature and wiser in love maybe it's making them realize um, what it feels like to have their heart broken and and it's kind of like they're taking responsibility ensuring that no one else feels like that or you don't feel like that or they don't make you feel like that. Does that make sense, Scorpio? We have the Page of Pentacles here. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but the Page of Pentacles is the student card to me. So through 
a broken heart, through the pains of the past, this person is learning um, some lessons. Okay, they're learning some lessons, they're taking it on board and um, I feel with the Knight of Pentacles here again, um, I'm getting that very grounded energy, that very mature and sensible energy coming through this person. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting a lovely energy around there. So Spirit, tell us more about this person over the next... King of Swords, nice, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be connecting to an air sign here. Let's get some more when it comes to the King of Swords. What can you tell us, Spirit, about this King of Swords? The Fool. Okay, Major Arcana for Aries. Well, that's how I read that card anyway. And the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> okay. So I always get with the King of Swords like a very intelligent person. So... Um, again, I'm linking the Elephant and the King of Swords together and I'm getting a very intelligent, smart, wise person. Um, we, we see an owl here, so there's a sense of wisdom that comes from the pains of the past or maybe the lessons from the past. Now, again, if this person has let you down or hurt you, uh, the King of Swords would tell me here that this person gains some kind of uh, perspective or clarity around that. Okay, and we can see here with the Fool that they're wanting a new beginning here. Okay, this could be someone new that you've just recently connected to as well. I am getting a sense with this person that they are taking a chance on love. I feel with the Eight of Swords that maybe this Three of Swords energy has held them back to some kind of a degree, but I'm feeling like they are wanting to overcome this, um, this Eight of Swords energy because we can see here this woman, she is bound by her fears or by her thoughts here. So as this person heals... Okay, they are breaking free from these ties that have held them back. We can see here with the Fool um, that they're gaining so much more confidence or so much more courage to break free from the pains of the past. Maybe with the Five of Wands here, there's been a lot of arguing or fighting. Uh, maybe with uh, maybe other people got involved or meddled in their business or your affairs here. Uh, but I feel like this person is breaking free from that or wants to break free from that. Okay. Spirit, tell us more here. Tell us more. I'm also getting with the King of Swords that this person is being so much more attentive to your needs and to your um, emotions here. They're so much more attentive. Yeah. I'm getting a very analytical approach. Maybe they've been strongly analyzing this Three of Swords energy. Uh, they've been analyzing the pains of the past. Yeah, look at that. There's the Five of Cups and the Four of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a sadness um, or a very sort of low vibe coming in with the Five of Cups. And I feel it's kind of like telling me that this person, they are learning from their past mistakes. Okay, the Five of Cups is a situation that happened in the past that maybe they still are kind of not forgiving themselves for because it is sitting under the Three of Swords, okay? So say this person hurt you, say you're the person that they hurt. To me, it feels like they're still not forgiving themselves over this, uh, like it shouldn't have happened. You know, they, they're giving themselves a hard time here, even with the elephant spirit, it shouldn't have happened. But I'm getting a sense here with the Four of Wands that they just want to get this relationship on stable ground here with you. And I feel like they will eventually overcome uh, this Three of Swords, Five of Cups energy. As they begin to heal and detach and let go, 
I feel with the Four of Wands, there's like a, a victory or there's a celebration here. Spirit, tell us more. Tell us more. We've got the Two of Wands. Tell us more about these Two of Wands. And we've got the, sorry, the Ace of Swords. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Page of Wands. Nice. Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be connecting to a fire sign here. Um, but yeah, I feel like with the Ace of Swords here, this person clearly knows what it is that they have to do. I feel like they've been sort of stuck in limbo, but I feel like they're ready to break free from this limbo energy that they've been in. Two of Wands is... It can be a card of where this person is needing to, uh, you know, make a decision here. But I feel they're looking in the in the future direction. So I feel like they have made up their mind or they will make up their mind. They know clearly here what it is that they need to do with the Ace of Swords. Okay, they want a breakthrough. They want victory here. Okay. I feel with the Page of Wands, um, I feel like this is positive. I feel like this is good news coming in. So for those of you who are kind of waiting for this news, I feel like it's um, going to land on the right ears. And I want to say this is incoming positive movement. Okay, incoming positive movement and action. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. So there's that long-term security, long-term stability that this person seeks here with you, okay? Um, mm. We've got the Two of Swords here, which again is, it's, it's that limbo energy. It's that head over heart that this person maybe has been struggling with. I'm, I'm sort of connecting these two of swords with the five of cups like they're still beating themselves up over what they did. Maybe it could be here that the three of swords energy, if this person still needs to heal uh, from a wound that is obviously still very evident in their life, they could be having a little bit of difficulty with this because it's like, I don't want to confront it. I don't want to face it. it. It's too difficult. But I... I'm getting here that they will face it. I'm getting a maturity and an intelligence coming in with this person. It's like, no, I need to face it now. If they want something solid and stable here with you, they're going to have to, you know, face themselves. They're going to have to take accountability and responsibility, which I'm seeing a maturity around that, especially with the King of Swords, okay? So there's your reading, Scorpio. I do hope that helps. Let me know in the comment section below if it resonated. Let me know if I mentioned the sign of your person here also. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.